In this Grab Your Reviews review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this app. If you have any questions, please comment them below. And I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for Grab Your Reviews. Grab Your Reviews lets you collect reviews from over 50 platforms and build your online reputation. Once you log in to grab your reviews, you come over here to the dashboard. Unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have any reviews, but once you connect up a platform, if you did have reviews, they would start showing here. As we can see, it will create an average rating, your amount of reviews, and the average star rating. So we've got five stars. Say if three people rated you five stars, it would show three there. Four stars, maybe two people, etc. Below there, we have reviews, which has the total reviews on all review platforms. Invitations, your number of customers invited. Open invitations, the number of invitations opened. Landing page visits, number of customers visiting the landing page. Positive reviews, number of new reviews received. And private feedback, number of private feedback received. Clicking on each one of these will take us to a different page. Or alternatively, we can follow along on the left hand side. So below dashboard, we have review platforms. Now we just have Facebook connected up, but there's an array of different platforms that we could connect. We've got Google and Yelp, Agoda, Airbnb, Alternative2, Angie's List, Avo, Triple B, Booking.com, Captera, and that's just to name a few. If we scroll down, we can see. We've got loads of different options there. To connect any one of these up, you'd obviously just click on it, paste your booking profile URL, and click on connect. For something like Facebook, which I've connected, you would just click onto there, that would take you over to Facebook, you would accept it, and that would then be automatically connected. There is also a search bar at the top, so you could search for a specific platform. So there we've got Yell or Yellow Pages. Because it's got quite a few results, it's quite handy that you could search for them. Below review platforms, we also have My Reviews. Again, unfortunately, we don't have any reviews, but this is where our reviews would show. We've got our average rating, our average rating on Facebook, because that's what we've connected up. And we could search for specific reviews. We could filter them if we had quite a few different platforms connected. We could filter it just by Facebook or if we had booking.com connected, we could connect that as well. You can also set how many reviews it'll show, so 10 all the way to 100, the same with there as well. And you can also add a review manually, so we could click on there, you could enter your name, enter the feedback, set the date, and then add the review, and boom, we can see we've got a five-star review manually imported. Below my reviews, we also have private feedback, so here at the moment, we don't have any private feedback, but if someone had given us private feedback, then this would show up here. Below there, we also have get reviews, where we've got a few different options. We've first got invite customer. Here, you could invite a customer either by email or SMS text. So you could put in their first name, enter their email address, click I certify that all customers have opted in to receive these communications, and go ahead and go and invite customer. If you prefer, you can also do this for text, and you can just enter their email address and their phone number. Below invite customers, we have bulk invite. Now, this would be useful if you've got a list of customers that you want to invite. So here, you could drag or click to upload a CSV file. As it says here, the CSV file must contain the headers, first name, last name, email, phone number, optional country code optional, and then optional headers only required when sending SMS invitations. You can also download a sample CSV, and this would work as a template. You could use this and then drag this in. Below bulk invite, we have invited customers. Here is where all the customers you've invited will show. So we have an in queue section where you can search. You can also select auto activate recipients daily, and how many a day, so all the way from five to 100. Next to InQ, we have active. Say if you use the bulk invite and you had a lot of different people you've invited, you could search for a specific person in the search bar there. So we've only invited one person, which is myself. So as we can see, that's our only active invite. It's separated by name, email or SMS, total invite sent, last sent date and action. 
where we've got active or inactive customer, delete customer, subscribe or unsubscribe customer. Next to active, we also have complete. So say if a customer had accepted the invite, then they would show here. Again, we can search for them. And we also have the option of downloading archives. Next to complete, we have email and text activity. So in our case, we sent this by email. So we can see the activity is down as delivered, which means that email has been successfully delivered to the customer. Again, we can search. We have the option of deactivating customers, non, open, click, or click through. And again, we can download the archives. Next to there, we also have landing page activity. As we can see currently, we don't have any landing page activity. Below invited customers, we have email settings. Here you can choose your sender name. If the customer applies to the invitation, where the reply will come to. So we can put our email in there. We can also choose our sender email. So we could choose no reply from reviewuz.com. Or we could also do send email using your own username. You could enter your own username into there. So no reply, we could call it test. It's always going to be at reviewuz.com. Below email settings, we have template settings. So we first got email template, which has then got first review request. So you can set the email name, so automatically it's set to first review request, send the interval, so it could be as soon as possible, one days, all the way up to 15 days, or you could even set a custom amount, and you could set the time as well, I'm just going to go for eight days, you can then set your subject line, so would you recommend, and then it will automatically put in your company name, hi, first name, it will enter their first name, would you mind leaving us a quick review by clicking the button below? It really helps us and can be a big help to your neighbours. Thanks, really appreciate it. Signed, company name. You can obviously edit this to whatever you want for your liking. This is just what the template is automatically sent as. Next to first review request, we have reminder for review. So this will be the template for when a reminder is sent. So again, we can set the interval. So it could be five days. Reminder for review. Subject, mind helping out. Your company name again. Next to there, we have one last reminder. So I suppose this will be the final reminder. Again, we can set that interval. It could go a little later. Now, as well as this, you can also create a new template. So you could set this completely yourself. We also have template placeholders, where it's got first name, you can copy that into, name of the customer, owner name, review URL, review URL positive, review URL negative. We can obviously enter in there whatever we want set the subject line, our email name, and the interval. Next to email template, we also have SMS text template. Similar to the last one, we've got our first review request, where we can set the template title. Hi, first name, if you loved company, would you mind leaving us a review? Thanks, we really appreciate it. Here's the link. And again, next to there, we've got create new template, where you could set your own message and the template title and copy and paste in the placeholders. Next to there, we also have private feedback template, where it's automatically got company name, reply to your review, then you could set your response from the owner, or again, just make this your own. In the text box, you've got all your standard settings, like bold, italic, underline, setting the font, the size of the font, the font color. You could set if it's a heading, heading one, paragraph, heading two, set the alignment if it was left, center, right, justify, lowercase, uppercase, numbered list, bulleted list, increase indent, de decrease indent, insert hyperlink, insert an image, code view, maximize or clear the format. Below the get review section, we also have widgets, where we have website widgets, where we have an array of different widgets to choose from. We've got the review collector, so if we click on there, so if we went for dark, it would show there, we could go custom, where you could set your own font color, your background color, and then obviously once you're happy there, you could go and get code and embed this into your website. You don't have to choose the review collector, you could go for the masonry grid, where you could select from light, dark, custom again, set the font color, background color, the number of reviews to display, and also show reviews above star rating. So you could set one star or more, two star or more, three star or more, go all the way and just show five stars. 
You can exclude reviews with no text and also show review summary. Again, once you're happy, just go and get code. You can put this into your website. Below there, we also have social sharing, where you could enable Facebook sharing enabled, connect with Facebook, and you could then create a template to share it on social media. You can also do this with Google. You just need to allow the app to have full permission. You could start creating your templates. Below there, we also have email widgets. Or again, we've got this choice of widgets, whichever one you wanted to choose, click there to copy the HTML and embed this onto your emails. We then have customization options where you could customize your review page. So you could choose the review page layout from thumbs, stars, faces, NPS. And then next to review page settings, we also have content settings where you can customize your public feedback workflow. So it says, these visitors are presented with your review site and instructions. Help us, help others, you're invited to review. That's to all visitors. We've got the header body, public review welcome message, request message, and thank you message. And you can set these to your own custom messages. We then have opt-in page, where you can share this URL with your customers. We then have QR code, so that's our QR code image. And we can download that QR code image and send that to potential customers. We then have notifications. As it says here, you will receive individual notification emails for each profile. You can choose if you would like daily notifications, weekly notifications, and monthly notifications. Below there, we also have reports, where we have my report, which will create a custom report depending on how many reviews we've got. And we've got our total reviews there, and the average rating, as well as our total amount of customers invited. We also have our performance report, which again has our total reviews and total average rating, our review by platform and rating by platform. It's worth noting as well that for both of these, performance report and my report, you can set the date. We then have company settings, which has your general sort of account settings. You have integrations, where they actually have template integrations. We then have more general settings about your account and also help documentation in case you had any queries at all. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of Grab Your Reviews? Grab Your Reviews is a fantastic way to manage all your reviews. There's a whole range of different platforms you can connect and they make it really simple to manage your reports. I also really love how you could customize your website widgets and then send email review reminders. I would definitely recommend Grab Your Reviews. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time.